Hi guys, it's T-Bone Pearson here. Uh, first of all, Merry Christmas and have uh, happy holidays. Uh, I hope everyone has a good time. Uh, and second of all, hey, I've been going through uh, an old box here, and let's flip this over so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But inside we have a Atari 2600 and a ColecoVision of some sort and a pile of wires and games in there. So the challenge that I have given myself is to try to get it to work on this uh, on my TV here. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so here we go guys. We've got the uh, ColecoVision. I don't think I've ever got this working. I may have got it at a uh, Salvation Army or Goodwill. Uh, but this, I think in the past I, I have got it going before, but it's, it's difficult. So, uh, but let's give it a shot. Alright, so we'll throw that there. Um, maybe not right in front of the camera. Put on the floor. But check out all these crazy wires we have here. We've got so many sets of wires. It is crazy. Are you guys checking that out? It is nuts in here. Uh, but we have some games. We've got, uh, let's see. Can you guys see that? I hope you guys can see that. The lights aren't really hitting it. Um, we've got Beam Rider. Uh, <laughs> I... I don't remember playing that. I have no idea. Maybe a garage sale or something. What else do we have here? We have, um, oh, now this I remember. We have uh, Sword Quest. Uh, Sword Quest was uh, pretty cool. Um, I think there was four of these, and you, there was a contest where you would win like a $100,000 gold sword uh, if you could figure out the riddles within the games, and it was pretty cool. Uh, I did some research uh, into it at one point. It was uh, pretty interesting. Uh, but I remember trying to win. I thought it would be cool, but I, I believe it was just for people in the States. I was living in Saudi Arabia at the time, uh, so I didn't have a chance of winning the sword, but it was pretty cool. And you got comic books with it. So with so this is uh, Sword Quest Fire World. Pretty neat stuff. All right, so what else is in here? All right, we've got like a Nintendo uh, thing here, NES. Um, weird things. Here, let's see. Let's. I'll just let you guys look in the box here. But yeah, I have no idea what that was for. Maybe Super Nintendo. And then we've got the, some paddles here for the Atari 2600. I remember those. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, we, and we have a Super Nintendo. Oh, like a fake Super Nintendo controller in here. Uh, what else? What else have we got? Is this ColecoVision? Yeah, this is the Gemini. Now, I'm not sure if that was like an official ColecoVision controller or system. I don't remember even playing the ColecoVision that much. Uh, another Pong, sort of Pong type thing. You would spin this and play the game and uh, Breakout was cool with this. I do remember that. Okay, what else we got? Big pile of wires, controllers. Um, I think this, I remember that one. I remember taping that up. I think it was my Super Nintendo. Board. Um, oh my lord, there's a lot of power adapters in here. Look at this. We've got all sorts of stuff. Some, oh, here's a busted uh, Atari 2600 controller. I wonder if we can get that working. Um, what else do we have? And some type of... No, what would this be for? Maybe the computer? Or I'm not sure. Maybe that's... Who knows what that's for? Now, where are all the games? That's what I'm asking myself. Where? Ooh, what's this? Oh, like a little TV. I remember that. We took that uh, March, March break somewhere to Myrtle Beach. Okay, where are the games? How the heck? Am... So I just have Beam Rider and Sword Quest? Fire World or whatever it is? Lordy but Gordy. Um, yeah, so it looks like I maybe have to find some more games. I guess we could try to work with what we have here with this system. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try to go through all these cables and I'm not going to put you through uh, uh, watching me do that. It could probably take me 20 minutes. Uh, so yeah, I will talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, so I just want to show you guys this. I tried putting the... So this is what it looks like. This is an Atari 2600 game and you just stick it in there like that. Now I haven't... Um, found any of the cables yet. Uh, I'm still going through them. Um, but this is some type of, I don't know, like a cable? I might just throw this out. I'm not sure what that's for. Just probably a monitor or something. 
Um, I have plenty of those. So I'm going to toss that. Um, now this, these are cool. I pulled those out. And they all, they attach into one controller, like one slot, which is neat. Um, I didn't remember that. I thought, you know, perhaps because there was only, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, um, but that's where it attaches to at the back. Um, perhaps because there was only, you know, two places to plug it into, they had to be, you know, efficient. Um, so there was two sort of pong paddle things here. Um, so yeah, and the back here we can see some of the buttons and stuff, but uh, this brings back memories. I used to love my Atari 2600. In fact, I had piles of games and I remember giving them away to someone, lending them, and never getting them back. But I still have some in a box. Um, so anyways, uh, that's I'm going to throw that cord out and uh, I will show you guys more when I find it. Okay. Okay, so here's the ColecoVision controller and as you can see it's got the paddle type device just like the uh, Atari 2600 ones um, so which is pretty cool and you also got the joystick so um, and then there's a button here on the side um, so that's quite clever because that sort of saves you space because this is the Atari one so this little guy would mimic uh, this big guy here and then you also would get those paddle things on the same controller. Pretty neat. Um, okay, so I'm going to keep working. Now this used to be covered with plastic. Uh, hopefully this still works um, if I have all the pieces for the 2600. But uh, uh, I'll show you guys more as I dig through this box of craziness. Okay, so guys, unfortunately, in this mess, I don't see the um, connection to the TV for the Atari 2600 or for our ColecoVision, which is hiding over there. Um, so I think um, some of the pieces are in another box. So let's just flip this over here like so. And uh, yeah, so hopefully in the next few days um, I can find that those cables and uh, we'll try to put it up on the screen. And uh, yeah.